Hey everybody, this is Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff, and before me we have the Silk White OnePlus 6. Now I got to see this at the OnePlus 6 launch event, but the lighting really wasn't very ideal, so I want to unbox this now, see what color it really is, to help you decide if this is the color you should go for, or if you should go for one of the black units. This is the Midnight Black and also the Mirror Black. So we'll have all three of these to look at, so let's get into the unboxing. I also want to let you guys know that I am just about finished with my conclusions on the OnePlus 6, so I'm ready to pop out that review soon. All right, let's open the box. Got my mini karambit right here. And let's see this. This is actually the color I've been pretty excited about. I know it's got that bit of a feminine feel or look to it, but hey, I'm a lady, right? So here we go. And who says this is only a feminine color anyhow? So you can see it's nice and black here on the front. Then we're going to pull it up and turn it over. Ooh, it's a really nice pearly white. And wow, yes, that is really beautiful. When you look at it, it's just got this little bit of a shimmer to it. It's very, very pearly. And then when you look up close, this is a rose gold color. This is actually not gold, so the fingerprint sensor is a little bit of a rose gold, just a tiny hint of a pink to it. And the same thing goes for the sides as well. And it's got a nice matte looking metal finish to it just like the Midnight Black unit does. If we look at the Mirror Black, you can see that this is a glossy type of a finish and it does scratch more easily than I would like. The back glass is held up pretty well. In hand, I can tell you that this is quite slippery. This is something I'd probably want to place a case on. What I really ended up liking about the Mirror Black unit is that Actually, it's not very slippery and I'm not afraid to use this without a case. So keep that in mind that this, along with the Midnight Black, are quite slippery. Although they do feel really quite nice. And if you're wanting a phone that does not take on a lot of fingerprints, you really can't see them on this white unit. Of all of these colors, the look of fingerprints are the slightest on this white unit. So setting this guy aside, let's see what else is in the box. There should be a case in here so that we can keep our phone nice and protected. So this has a little partition where we've got this nice clear case. And it looks entirely clear except for when you look real close. I don't even think this camera can resolve it. It's got just a tiny bit of a texture to it. Just an ever so slight texture. And this is good because I don't think this is going to show up against the matte finish of this phone and take away from the beautiful appearance of it. Let's pop it in. And yeah, you virtually can't tell that there's any type of a texture to it unless you look real close. It looks very nice and clear. So you can continue to enjoy that pearly look of the phone. And then the sides are a little bit of a milky color. I would have preferred these to be more clear so I can see that beautiful rose gold, but really not too much of a complaint. Then we've also got our dash charger and also the cable, so the other standard fare with this. We've also got some documentation and such. Got some stickers. So that is the unboxing experience. Oh yes, and don't forget the SIM ejection tool. So here we've got all three of these phones now side by side, and honestly, of all of these, my favorite one still is this mirror black. And my reasons for that is that it's just not so slippery. And also, just because it attracts fingerprints doesn't mean that they don't wipe away so easily and quickly that it's really a non-issue. And another thing I've discovered is that because it's a mirror finish to it, when I go out and I take selfies, I can actually use the back camera and use the portrait mode because I can frame myself up very well as this is just so reflective. So it's actually made sense for me and for anyone who really wants to take advantage of using that back camera. And if you don't want to use the front camera, for example, for selfies. So that was a nice surprise. But second favorite is definitely this pearly white one. 
And then of course we've got the Midnight Black, and this one's most fascinating because it looks like metal. You really can't tell the difference between this and the metal finish that we had in the Midnight Black. Showing people they'd be hard pressed to believe you at first that this is glass, and it is. Still, you can't go wrong with any of these devices. So the Silk White version is going to be available for a limited time only starting the 5th of June. These are probably going to sell out pretty quickly, so if you want one of these, be sure to be ready. So let me know which of these colors that you like. This is my favorite, followed by this, then this. So this has been Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And make sure to have all the notification options enabled for my channel if you want to actually be notified, because YouTube is broken. And clearly, subscriptions mean nothing at all anymore. So let me know what you think.